from the Body Rescue Show. So today we're going to make some chocolate Easter eggs and chocolate Easter bunnies. Um, even if it isn't Easter when you're watching this, it's still a good excuse to make some chocolate. And this is my mood boosting chocolate. This is so full of nutrients, really, really nutrient dense. Why go out and buy some expensive chocolate when you can make it yourself in less than five minutes and it's packed full of antioxidants and mood boosting chemicals and vitamins, minerals, I shall tell you all about it. You don't even need some majorly fancy equipment for this. Um, I've got a Nutribullet here, which is a high speed blender. You can just use a normal blender, or you can just melt all the ingredients in a pan. Um, but if you do melt the ingredients, you are losing some of the nutrients there. So if you just blend it, you're keeping all the nutrients in it. And uh, the result is amazing. This is what it will end up like, and it is absolutely delicious. So I bought this mould from Amazon, it was only about £5, um, you can get plenty of these where they come from, or you can just smother the chocolate out and lay it out on a, like a, some parchment paper and put it in the freezer like that and then you can peel it off, so it's completely up to you. But this is an Easter theme today, so the ingredients are, we've got um, some ground almonds, now if you don't have ground almonds you can ground them yourself. But I would advise you to ground them before you do anything else uh, so you don't want to ground them whilst the oil is in there for instance because it will just make it harder to grind so grind them first if you're going to grind them or buy ground almonds or buy flaked almonds um, I'm also going to put some maca powder in there maca powder is amazing for your energy and uh, for your libido um, and then we've got some <clears throat> raw cacao powder Raw cacao powder is uh, much more nutrient dense than cocoa. You could buy cocoa, it will still taste good, it's just not packed, as packed full of nutrients because it's, um, <clears throat> raw cacao hasn't been heat treated so it's not lost any of its uh, good nutrients in there. Um, these are raw cacao nibs, so I can put these in a high speed blender but you could also buy it ground, which is what this one is. And then we're gonna add some coconut oil uh, if you have live in a coldish country it'll be hard and if it's warm it'll be soft you can melt this before just by placing it in a pan of um, boiling water you know just put it in a, a tray within that uh, or you can just add it straight into your blender I like that that's what I do um, and honey honey is absolutely fat full of nutrients as well especially uh, magnesium and zinc um, I get quite upset when people say it's just as bad for you as white sugar. White sugar has absolutely no nutritional value. Honey has a really high nutritional value. Uh, it's absolutely packed full of vitamins and minerals and um, is very, very good for you, you know, in moderation, just don't have too much of it. Um, and then we've got some vanilla. So what we're going to do is put everything into the mixer and, uh, and that's it. So, I'm going to put two tablespoons. This amount I'm using will just about um, fill this up. You can make far more than this if you want to, but I just want to make the right amount to fill this up. So, that's what made those there. Uh, so, that's coconut oil. And then we're going to put some cacao nib in. couple of tablespoons. Now you might want to adjust this because you might have a sweeter tooth or a less sweet tooth. Um, I'm going to put about two tablespoons of honey in this. There are many different types of honey. Please try and use raw um, organic honey. The best honey you can get is from your local farmer. If you buy highly processed honey it won't have as many nutrients in. And then I'm going to use a, a, just a capful of vanilla essence and a tablespoon of maca powder. Um, and then I'm going to put in the ground almonds, just about a tablespoon or so. You know, I kind of make recipes up as I go along and, and play around with them, but. Um, you see what you like as we do this. So there we are. All I'm going to do now is blend that in the blender and I'm going to smooth it in there. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so I've blended it all up. Um, I put raw cacao nibs in and I've left the 
a little bit of the crunchiness in there because it tastes really nice and the chocolate gives the crunchy edge. Um, you could grind them really softly or you could just put the actual powder in there. So I'm going to use a spatula to take it out. When you put it in the trays, don't completely cover the top otherwise it doesn't look quite as neat when you take it out. Uh, you'll, you know, see all the edges rough. So. I made some earlier with my daughter and she absolutely loved them. And it's, you know, it's really fun to make with kids if you've got children or grandchildren. Oh, it's just even fun for yourself. But yeah, when you cover the top, don't leave any chocolate over the top so that when, it, when you peel them off, it comes out nice and neatly. So that's it. I'm gonna bung it in the freezer. And then after 20 minutes, it will look like that. I'm going to taste one now because they are so nice. Mm. Yummy. See you soon. Bye for now. <laughs>